Well, hi there. Today it's uh, the 22nd of December, so it's nearly Christmas. I thought I'd squeeze my last trip in um, because I'm going away for Christmas this year. And as normal, the river's flooded again, so we're back down Barnwell. Now, just to uh, bring you something a little bit different today, what I've decided to do is actually uh, fish the feeder as normal, but I'm fishing it on a whip. So I'm fishing a whip five metres to hand with a feeder on it. Um, been fishing about 30 minutes now, and after seven minutes, that's two two put ins. First two put ins I had a skimmer about 14 ounces, and about six or seven minutes later, I had another one about five or six ounces, which was a uh, fair looked in the back near the dorsal fin. I've been 15 minutes without a bite. River's like chocolate, it's moving through quite well, it's right over the top of the bank. And uh, so conditions are somewhat challenging, but certainly not unfishable. And there's definitely fish to be caught. So anyway, we'll come back in a bit, we'll have a look at what we're doing, how we're doing it, and uh, never know, might even have one or two more fish. Catch you in a bit. Mm, they just had a first bite in about half an hour. But, like I said earlier, there's, there's fish to be caught today, even in these conditions. A nice roach there. Massive, but it's good fish. There we go. Small dice. Had two or three bites that have been missed, that have missed, and that's probably the reason why this case can be notoriously uh, awkward to hit. Anyway, like I say, just grateful of anything we can catch today because, uh, like I say, conditions are a bit tricky, the water's quite cold, and you know, I think if you can get a bite or two in these conditions, you're doing well. So, any fish you catch is a bonus. This time, everyone's a surprise, eh? <laughs> Got a skimmer, which is always a good thing for me. There you go, not massive fish, but more than welcome on a winter's day. Well, the bait for today is pretty simple and uh, pretty much all stuff I'm using up out the fridge and freezer. Um, ground baits, me usual evolved baits. Uh, Sweet fish meal gold and ringer's dark mix, about 50-50, olive green and quite a fish mealy sweet mix. Um, micro pellets, pinkies, some dead maggots and a little bit of chopped worm and castor. And that's it for the bait, and like I say I'm just using it what I've got left in the fridge because I'm away for Christmas for a few days so uh, I might as well have a clear out and start afresh from the new year or when I get back at least. 
Right, okay, the rig today is pretty much no nonsense, as I told you earlier. We're fishing five metres to hand. Got a five pound main line, got a 30 gram small granum feeder. It's got a little float stop there, so it's got a couple of inches to move before it becomes a bolt rig. Or I can open that up, close it down tighter, depending on how, how I'm hitting the bites and that. Hook length is um, three feet of 014, got a size 12 press to hook on, and a worm and two pinkies. And that's the bait. When I say worm, it's not exactly a worm, it's just a piece of a small piece of dendrobina. That way I've got a chance of uh, getting a bite from most things from a small roach to a, to a big bream. And uh, give myself the best chance really on the day. Anyway, we'll plug on, got about another 45 minutes for a pack up. But we've had a few fish, so good stuff. Okay, just latched on to just latched on something a little bit more sizeable. I'm hoping it's a bream. And if we're lucky, we'll get to see it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Merry Christmas. Okay, well, that's it. We've had a few fish on uh, what is a very flooded river today. Water's quite cold, so I've done better than I thought I would. Uh, been a bit limiting, obviously, fishing just five metres to hand, I've had no choice but just fish there. Cut the bait going in and kept being patient and it's been rewarding in the sense that I've had two or three nice skinners and uh, a small green and a couple of bits and pops so no complaints there. Anyway, it's nearly upon us so it just leaves me to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I'll see you next time out there. Take care, cheers.